Namaste and welcome. My name is Greta. This practice is designed to help open up the hips and pelvis, the lower back, and to really reduce extra stress and tension that you might be holding, as well as to release any feelings of anxiety. In Ayurveda, which is the sister science of yoga, the pelvis is considered the seat of vata. This is the energy that's connected to our nervous systems. And when there is an imbalance of vata, we might feel extra anxious or restless or have trouble sleeping. And so this is a practice to help remedy some of that. You might want to have a blanket to pad your knees if your knees are sensitive. And other than that, this is pretty all level friendly. And here we go. Start by coming onto your back. You can just set your blanket off to the side for right now. And come onto your back and take your feet as wide as your mat. Drop your knees in together so we're in a constructive rest. You can place your hands onto your belly or just make contact with your physical body. Take a moment to really turn your awareness inside and notice with total openness, without judgment, just notice how you feel right now. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose. out through your mouth and you can seal your lips and begin to breathe in and out through your nose bring your arms to the floor to a gentle cactus position with your elbows bent take both knees to the right side coming into windshield wiper with your feet as wide as your mat bend both knees to the right side and gently flex your feet Keeping your feet gently flexed, take your knees up and over to your left side. So windshield wipers are really pretty mellow twist here just to open up a little bit through the hips and the sacrum. Take your knees up and over to the right side again, keeping your feet wide. And then up and over to the left. One more time to the right side. Good things come in threes. And all the way to your left side. And then draw your knees back through center. Hug them up into your chest and cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. Either keep your left foot grounded or if it feels all right, pick your left knee up, weave your right arm in between the legs and hold your hands around your left leg, either in front of your shin or behind your thigh. This is a figure four shape. It's called eye of the needle. Right? Spread your toes and start to consciously move your awareness down into your pelvis, into your outer hips, anywhere that you might be feeling sensation. Breathe in and breathe out through your nose if that's possible right now. And consciously offer your breath and your awareness to any sensation that's arising in the body. One of the things that can help us when we are feeling a little bit unsettled or anxious or nervous is to give more emphasis to the exhalation. So as you continue to breathe, just allow your exhales to be a one beat longer than your inhales. And then slowly release your arms, keeping your right leg above your left, cross a little deeper and take your right knee to your left knee, crossing knee to knee, reach up and either hold your outer ankles or your outer shins. This is a supine cow face pose or supta gomukhasana. Try to connect your knees to the best of your ability. A couple more deep breaths around the hips, the lower back, the pelvis. As we open up tension, as we free up the tension that's often stored in this area, it can have a very grounding effect on the nervous system. So stay with it, keep breathing. Release your legs, reach them all the way up, uncross. And now bend your knees and bring your left ankle to your right knee. Just changing sides, starting with that figure four shape 
eye of the needle. You can hold your right leg. As you bring it towards you, gently press your left knee away from you. A little activation in the feet is nice to help stabilize the knee. And we just keep taking our awareness and conscious deep breathing down around the pelvis and the lower back and all around the hips. Allowing your exhales to be just a touch longer than the inhales. You can even visualize every exhalation just releasing any of the stress or anxiety that you're carrying. You can release your hands, continue to cross the left knee all the way over to the right. So you have your knees stacked, reach up, hold around your legs, flex your feet gently, supine cow face pose. Couple big breaths here down around your pelvis. Now release your legs, uncross, come into a happy baby pose, either holding your outer feet or holding onto your knees. Tilt your pelvis so that your sacrum makes more contact with the ground. And then you can just sway a little bit like a happy baby. Sway, massaging out your low back, opening up even here through the hips. And gently draw your knees back in. Either roll to your side or rock all the way up and please come onto your hands and your knees. Here's where if your knees are extra sensitive, you might wish to take a folded blanket and give yourself a little bit of padding. And I like to unfold the blanket so it's not too thick, but just enough to give the knees a tiny bit of cushion. Please separate your knees and bring your big toes together. Come into a child's pose, balasana. You can take your hands forward or reach them back by your feet and lower your forehead down. Just breathe down and close to the earth. Your breathing close to the earth is also very grounding, soothing for the nervous system. And then slowly roll up, sit on your feet for a moment. You can join your palms together at heart center, Anjali Mudra. We'll use a practice of loving kindness. This is part of a Buddhist meditation and we'll offer it to ourselves for, for this practice. Internally, you can repeat if you wish. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free from suffering. May I be free from mental anxiety. May my life be filled with ease. And then gently release your hands, come to all fours, table pose. Spread through your fingers, align your wrist creases parallel with the short edge of your mat. And as you inhale, sweep your heart up, lift up through your sitting bones. Exhale, round your spine. Just two more times like this. Inhale to cow pose, lifting through your heart. Exhale as you round to cat. Once more, inhale, cow spine. Exhale, round to cat. And now as you inhale, reach your right leg back, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, draw your right knee up towards your nose, round. Again, inhale, reach your right leg back. And as you exhale, draw your knee up, but step your foot all the way to the outside of your right hand. You can turn your foot a little bit off on the diagonal, come up onto your fingertips, or even support your hands with blocks. And in this kneeling lunge, start to sway your hips in circles to the right side. Now, as you do this, the right foot will lift up sometimes. It won't stay grounded the whole time, and that's perfectly fine. I'm just looking for a little bit of freedom, a little bit of mobility in the pelvis, an opportunity to release any of the excess energy that gets uh, accumulated in this area. Take one more little circle to the right and then pause there and draw your hips back. Flex your right foot coming into a version of a runner's stretch or runner's lunge. Okay, push back through your inner upper thighs. 
Activate strongly through your legs. So you're engaging your hamstrings as you stretch. And then re-bend your right knee. Ground your hands and swing your right leg all the way back where we started. This time, take your right leg behind your left. Tuck your knees together like we did lying down. And walk your hands a little bit over to your right until your hands are beneath your shoulders. Press through the tops of your feet. As you inhale, lift here through your heart. And exhale, pull your hips back behind your feet so it's like a cross-legged child's pose. Inhale, pull forward onto your hands, lift your heart. Exhale, round and pull back. A couple more times. Inhale as you sweep forward, lifting your heart. Exhale as you round, tone your navel, pull your hips back. One more time like that. And then rising back up, start to walk your hands again toward the front of your mat until they're beneath your shoulders. Take your right leg back, toes to the floor. So your right leg is in plank pose. Step your left leg back into plank and then lift your hips up and back and find downward facing dog. Right. From the back of your heart, stretch energy long through your arms, through your hands and into the earth. Then reach up from the heart, high through your pelvis. Take another full breath as you lengthen in downward facing dog. Bring your knees to the floor or to your blanket. And again, sit back on your heels, all the way up head over your hips. Join your palms to your heart center. You take a nice full breath. And internally repeat. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free from suffering. May I be free from mental anxiety. May my life be filled with ease. Gently release your hands, come to all fours. Inhale, lift through your heart and your sitting bones, cow spine. Exhale, round to cat. Inhale, reach your left leg long behind you. Tiger pose and exhale, draw your knee up towards your nose. Inhale, sweep your left leg back. This time as you exhale, pull your knee in and step your foot outside of your left hand. You can turn your foot a little bit on a diagonal. Come up on your fingertips and a cir circle your hips to your left side. And really circle, the knee will circle. And again, it's fine for your foot to lift up a little bit here and there. Can you stay connected to your breath? Can you really make a conscious connection with your breath down around into your body, into any place of tension or holding? Can you use every breath to really befriend yourself and to let go of any of the excess stress that you're holding on to? Come back to center, shift your hips back, Flex your left foot, energize your legs, and then push into your left foot and pull your heel down and back isometrically. So it's a wide version of a half split or a runner stretch. And then bend your front knee, ground your hands, reach your left leg back where we started, take it all the way over behind your right knee so you connect your knees, Walk your hands a little bit over to your left until they're right underneath your shoulders. And on your in-breath, lift here through your heart. Exhale, round your spine and pull your hips back behind your feet. A few more times, moving on your breath as you open up. Exhale, round and pull your hips back. We have three more. Really move in rhythm, in relationship with your breath. Breath is this little reminder, moment by moment, that we're here. We're okay. Right? The breath is moving. The life force is with us. Last one. Pull your hips back behind. And then slowly come back up. Walk your hands around until they're at the front beneath your shoulders. And then reach your left leg back, toes to the mat like a plank pose. Take your right leg back to plank and lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Here's where you might fold your blanket 
and kind of scoot it out of your way off to the side. Take another big breath here in downward facing dog. And then walk your feet up to your hands. As you come to the top of your mat, separate your feet wider than hips width. Point your toes out a little. Bend your knees and squat down into Malasana. Joining your hands here in a prayer. And if you need more support, grab a block and put it right under your hips. And one more time, we make this offering of loving kindness towards ourselves. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be free of suffering. May I be free of mental anxiety. May my life be filled with ease. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Lift your hips and start to walk your feet until they're parallel, about hips width apart. Uttanasana, forward fold. Bend your knees a little or a lot. You can reach your hands at a hold behind your legs or wherever feels comfortable. Let anything you want to release just drip off the back of you and down be absorbed by the earth. Hug your muscles to your bones so there's a sense of self-support from inside, a sense of strength from within. And keeping your legs strong, bend your knees a little bit more, tone your navel, you and roll up to stand one vertebra at a time. At the top of your mat, inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, upward salute, look up. Exhale, bring your hands right back down to your heart and fold in half, Uttanasana. Take your hands down. Rise to a halfway lift. Exhale, step back. Find downward facing dog. Okay, root through your hands. Reach up with your hips. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your right shin all the way forward for a pigeon pose. Half pigeon. Press down through the baby toe part of your front foot. Clamp the back of your right knee closed so it feels like you're holding something with your knee just to keep the ligaments nice and toned. And as you inhale, sweep up through your heart and exhale, fold over your right shin. Bring your elbows to the floor or you can support yourself with blocks. Again, we breathe down and close, low to the earth. Just a couple full conscious breaths. Can you make your exhale a beat longer than your inhale? Just allowing yourself to slow down inside. Okay, moment by moment, lots of awareness, lots of breath. Use your hands to gently lift your torso back up. Lean a little onto your right hip and bring your left leg all the way around. Cross your left foot outside of your right thigh. Using your hands around your left knee, lift yourself upright. Really lengthen from the root of your spine all the way up to the crown. And then bring your left fingertips behind you. Either hold your knee with your right hand or cross over your knee, closing first finger and thumb together. Come into a seated spinal twist. Feel the pelvis heavy to the earth, supported by the ground. Draw your sacrum in as you inhale, rise a little taller. Exhale and deepen your twist to the left. Wait for the breath and inhale to untwist. And then scoot your right foot out just a little bit. Use your hands and try to stack your knees together like we did when we were lying down and also kneeling. Here is where you could grab your blanket and put it underneath your hips. Gomokasana. With your knees close together, you can hold your feet, sit tall, and if you wish, start to fold forward. As you fold, you might reach your hands forward. This can bring up a lot of sensation. If it's too much, you're welcome to lie on your back and repeat the one we did in the very beginning. Knee to knee on your back. Couple deep breaths. Make every breath an offering of loving kindness to yourself. Really a time to accept yourself, 
to be present with what is, to release what's not serving you, and to release threads of tension and anxiety as we notice them as they arise. Slowly walk yourself back up. And then carefully just swing your left leg all the way around to the back. Place your hands, step your right foot back and come into downward facing dog. Stretch everything out. Now reach your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your left shin forward for pigeon pose, half pigeon. Walk your right leg straight back in line with your right hip. Press to the outer left foot. Energize right behind your left kneecap like you're clamping something with your knee. And then inhale, rise up brightly through your heart. And exhale, fold forward. As you connect to the movement of your breath, can you really listen inside? Allow yourself to feel more deeply. Moment by moment, breath by breath, here we are. And in this moment, all is well. Enjoy one more breath. Use your hands to help you walk back up and then sit to your left hip. Bring your right leg all the way around and cross your right foot over your left leg. And try to root down um, through evenly through both of your sitting bones or use a blanket for more support. And then hold your left knee, excuse me, hold your right knee with your left hand. Bring your right hand behind you. You take a little twist to the right side or cross your elbow outside of your knee. I like to close the index finger and thumb together and come into a seated spinal twist. Inhale to find more length. And exhale, deepen your twist just a little bit. As you inhale, unwind. And as you come back to the front, start to stack your knees, right knee over the left. Setting up for Gomukhasana variation. Let your pelvis right in between your feet pretty evenly. And then it's often useful to take a blanket right underneath your hips for a little more height. Try to get contact between your knees, flare your toes, and as you inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, fold in, fold over your legs. You're bowing towards the earth, start to move the breath more into the back side of your body. As we move awareness and breath into the back of the body, it can have a very soothing effect, helping us feel connected with something much greater than our racing minds, our anxious minds. We breathe into the backside, feel part of something bigger. And then slowly use your hands on the floor, lift yourself up, and from here, uncross your legs. Reach them out in front of you. Coming into staff pose, Dandasana. You can use your hands and turn your thighs internally. Spiraling your legs in, ground down through your thigh bones. And as you inhale, reach your arms up high. Get a lift and a length through the spine. Exhale and reach with length over your legs. Paschimottanasana. Bend your knees as much as you need to or as you wish to. Okay, as you nestle in and breathe deeply with yourself. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Push the floor away as you rise up with a long spine. From here, bend your knees and come into a comfortable cross-legged seat. And bring your hands, first finger and thumb together and turn the palms of your hands down, which has a little bit more of a grounding effect on the nervous system. 
You're welcome to close your eyes if it feels all right to do so. Let your belly soften and simply notice inside. Notice how you feel. Notice the quality of your breathing. Either keep your hands, palms down if this feels good, or rejoin your hands to a prayer at heart center. We make the offering one more time, but this time for all of us, for the whole collective. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be free from suffering. May we be free from mental anxiety. May our lives be filled with ease. And give a little bow to your heart. Really honor yourself and the tenderness of your heart the holiness of your body. You can relax your hands and either stay in a few minutes of a seated meditation or lie down and take rest. When you are feeling anxious, as you lie into Shavasana, take your folded blanket, lie it right over your pelvis, and that helps also to ground, to seat the energy. I'll leave you to rest, right? Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. May it serve you. And if you enjoyed this practice, then be sure to subscribe so that you can continue practicing with me. Thank you so much. Namaste.